You know Boris well, and I think you and I both agree on one thing. I mean, he does make some dreadful mistakes, but he is larger than life. Yes. Compared yeah. to the last two in this context. He, he is, and you've summed him up. He, he definitely will cast a huge shadow. Uh, and the Conservative Party will probably look at Boris Johnson in weeks, months ahead and say, what did we do? Especially when it comes down to elections, because let's be honest, he is an election winning machine, he, undefeated. Uh, won this city, this fantastic city, which is a Labour leaning city, which yeah. it was always thought would be very difficult for a Conservative to win twice, 2008 and again in 2012. You know, that was, um, that was called defining the laws of political gravity in 2012, but he's done it so many times that we sort of get used to it. And then again, redefining Conservative politics through Brexit. Brexit in 2016, yes, he made his argument and he won his argument with a lot of other people, including yourself, playing a part there. And then the 2019 general election. But all these things are linked together. This demonstrates a politician who reaches beyond traditional Conservative voters. We saw the general elections in advance of 2019. The Conservative Party struggling to get that 35, never really reaching 40 percent. Huge majority seemingly out of their reach as the party was structured as it is. He demonstrated how the Conservative Party goes beyond that, how it reached to Labour voters, the so-called red wall, taking that down brick by brick. But really, it was 2016 which defined a generation of people who felt they could vote for Boris Johnson, he made the right a call. Conservative. He made the right call yeah. on Brett. I mean, albeit late in the day, yes. but he did make the right call on that.